Mid-morning, Karen Reed and her lawyers leave the courthouse, as they're allowed to do once the jury resumes deliberations each day. They walk across the street to greet supporters who are gathered just outside the buffer zone around Norfolk Superior. Note Reed's words of encouragement to this 12-year-old boy who told her he gets bullied due to a medical condition. This bullies every, even adult bullies, yeah. as you know. He was the one who might see that. You're stronger than he is. He broke you more. It'll, it'll, it'll just prepare you for other things in life. That, for me, was actually part of the best. Today is day three of jury deliberations. Six women and six men are now deciding whether to convict or acquit Reed for the murder of her boyfriend, John O'Keefe. On Wednesday, the jury requested to see a state police report about the search at 34 Fairview Road in Canton. But Judge Beverly Canoni denied the request, telling the jury that report is not part of the evidence and that all evidence needed to reach a verdict is already in the jury room. Still, the request could be an indication of the diligence of the six women and six men who are deliberating this case. On Tuesday, when Judge Canoni was charging the jury, she urged them to focus first on the evidence presented during the trial. Although how you conduct your deliberations is up to you, I urge you not to begin conducting an immediate straw vote. Rather, I encourage you not to take any votes until you have completed a careful and thorough collective view of all the evidence. The judge has told the jury that the court will maintain its regular schedule of taking lunch between 1 and 2 p.m. each day. So we do not expect any questions from the jury during that time and certainly no verdict during that period. For now, though, Verdict Watch continues. Reporting live at Norfolk Superior Court in Dedham, Todd Kiskevich, WCVB News Center 5.